What's good, YouTube? We're gonna have a great day today. Happy motherfucking Saturday. I'm um, actually right now, I'm about to go hit chest. I'm currently at the gym right now. My plan is finished. Um, today, we're just doing legs. I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry. No, we're just recording content. We're just recording content and we're about to go do chest at the gym right now. Um, we're about to go to um, Pro Fit Beer Park. Um, I know you're like, you're at a gym. Why would you go to another gym? I just come to plan to just record content and I go to Pro Fit um, to actually do my workouts. It's because for me, like, I need another motherfucker that's bigger than me in there. And I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm not saying, oh, I'm this big motherfucker in Planet Fitness. No. I just want to consistently see fucking jack dudes push heavy motherfucking weight. And it pushes me to do the same motherfucking shit. That's basically it. You know, it's be surrounded by the environment. Be surrounded by the people that you want to be. Be surrounded by the environment that you, or the bodies that you dream of being. Or the shrimp that you dream of, of having. Be surrounded by that. And Planet Fitness is not it for me. I'm not dissing on Planet Fitness. No. I fucking love this gym, bro. This is my baby right here. I come here all the time, record content, do my thing. It's my baby. I love this gym. But for personal purposes, I like going to ProFit better. I like that edge. I like that. <laughs> you guys know what I mean? Um, but yeah, man. We're about to hit the uh, chest today. And I'm going to cam up during chest. Um, it's going to be a lot easier now. Um, especially with my boy Marco recording. That's the GOAT right there helping me out. Um, my man helped me out when I had my tour ACL and it's glad to have him back because now it's going to make things so much easier when it comes to recording because like setting up a stand, setting up everything for yourself and then moving it corner to corner, left different angles, all that shit. That should be hard work, man. <laughs> what the fuck? That should be hard work. Um, but yeah, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. But yeah, man, hope you guys enjoy your weekends. I'm to have a great one right now. For me, that's how I like to end my weekend. Uh, Saturdays, like I said, are, are days where I just like to reset. Set a calendar, set the week up. Cause tomorrow I'm ready to fucking dominate. That's it. That's it. But y'all catch you guys. I'll see you soon. Peace. There we go, Marco. Come on, come on, come on. Press. Yes, sir. Come on. Yep. Press, big boy. Come on, come on. Press. Two more, two more, two more. One more. One more, one more. One more, one more. Three. Push it. Fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it. Ah! So this is second set. We're about to go for about 10 to 12. 95 pounds. We just went for 80s as like a warm-up for the first set. So let's see how this is gonna go. We're gonna go like five sets today. And depending how this feels, dictates how we do for the rest of the workout. Oh yeah. I need that. Good shit. Oh, my bad. Now, going into set three, um, I wanted to go 95s again for about 8 to 12. Um, but this workout, like, I always start my workouts with, like, 75 pounds. And today just was not my day. I went to 75, went to 80, 95, and I went to 100s. And 100s and 105s seem to be a little bit difficult today, which is okay because you're not ever going to be in your best day every fucking day. So, give or take how I feel for that day. You know, dictates what I do for the rest of the workout. Um, and for this workout... After I realized, okay, cool, third set of 95, only got eight to nine-ish. I, mean, I struggled with those last few. So that tells me, okay, cool, we could probably go to 100s. We could probably go to 105s, but only expect like five to six reps um, or even four reps, you know, um, because at the end of the day, you got to be able to gauge it. At a certain point of your exercise, always know, okay, cool, this is going to be one of these workouts because then you already know what to do. You already know what the mindset is instead of just saying, oh, I suck today. I, I quit. Instead of doing that, just say, okay, cool. What can I do right now? And let's use the energy we have to push through. Okay. Hundreds. Just set four. We're going to do this for set four and two. My goal going to this one was to get six. But I was only able to get like five, um, which was okay. Five, two sets. And the last one was a real struggle. Um, the last one was actually tough. <laughs> my, um, my boy Marco was recording in the last one. He kind of stopped recording because that was going to fail. I was like, no, 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 keep recording. And I literally yelled that out while I was doing it. Um, you guys will see the cut. I don't think he caught the cut on camera. Um, so this one was four. 
and go into this one. It's that quick because I was struggling so hard with the last one. But the struggle is done. Like, the last rep should be the last You know, it should be the rep that you're driving up, forcing out, and you're giving it everything you got. Because that rep right there is probably a lot more beneficial than your first two. So I'll make them count for sure. Awesome. So we're going to do incline bench now for about five sets of six to 12. Again, aiming just, I mean, just to tell you, I'm probably going to go up gradually to see how I do, but I don't know. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Very nice from here. There we go, Obi. Come on, let's go. Yep, got a nice firm grip. Hook those thumbs. Right into it. Three, two, one. Up. Chest up, chest up, chest up. There we go. Squeeze through. Come on, Marco, let's go. Yep, this is set number two. Marco went first. And he's pumping it out right now. Let's go. Eat. 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 Five more, five more, five more. Come on. One, take your time, take your time. Two, take your time, take your time. Three, yep, take your time, take your time. Four, one more, one more, one more, one more. Take your time. All right, fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it. Uh, there we go. Yes, sir. This was my second chest day for the, like the week, so I was a little bit disappointed with this one. Usually my second chest day for the week is usually my strongest, but the first chest day I had for the week was probably a really good one, but this one was like a little, I'd say I, I was like 80, 90%. Um, one thing is when you're working out six times a week, there's always going to be one or two days where you're just like, bro, you're just a zombie out there. Um, today was kind of like one of those days for me, but we kept, just kept pushing through. Um, so like this, I did a drop set um, for set two, three, four, five, were all drop sets. Um, again, I know I was able to push a certain amount. I was able to push my max weight. So what I do instead of pushing heavy weight is I focus on lightweight, but making sure I'm just burning out with every set and every rep and everything when it comes to that lightweight. So I'll go from weight on 85 to 135, or I'll go from 155 to 100. Just little drop sets here and there to target to my screw, but most importantly, just keep those fibers guessing. Just keep those fibers on fucking fire. <laughs> Marco, I want to fail. I want to fail. You're good. You're gonna have to smack me in the face, you're good. It doesn't hurt me. 
So Marco hasn't worked out with me in a while, and my tra- my my training style has changed dramatically. Um, usually I would never train to failure. I would go for like sets of like ten to fifteen, six to twelve, et cetera, et cetera. But now, like after my first two exercises, I just go straight to motherfucking failure. And he, well, he hasn't worked out with me in a while. And every time I come to failure, or like it looks like, oh, he's not gonna get it, or he has to re rack the bar lower, or just some shit's gonna happen. He just like he jumps to it. But thing is, I want that to happen. I expect that to happen. You know, for me, like I work out in a gym where I know how to fail. But most importantly, I know how to fail forward. Meaning, yes, I'm going to fail with the exercise, but I'm not going to here to hurt myself. I'm here to just push my muscles to the limit. And I know once I get to a certain limit, hey, rack it in the lower weight if you can't get it all the way up. That's it. And even if I had to put it on my chest, just do a quick little sit up and sit up with it. That's it. That's why when I do drop sits or I go to failure, I don't do my max weight. I only do weight that I know. Okay, cool. If some shit were to happen, I could probably curl this shit. If some shit were to happen, I could probably overhead press press this shit some shit would have happened i could probably just move out the way quickly um so yeah i'm always prepared for that always prepared for that This is my third workout, and within my third workout, one thing I like to incorporate is actually incorporate workouts that are gonna A, include my triceps, while incorporating my chest. So this one, I felt a lot more in my triceps than my chest, um, because this is where towards the workout, I start moving into different muscle groups. So now I'm done with chest, now we're gonna focus a little bit more on triceps. But before we do that, we're gonna do this as a compound movement and then move to uh, chest flies. And then once we finish chest flies, that's when we would go to tricep extensions and just isolate that muscle group overall. Flies, about to go three sets of failure. Yep. One, there you go. You always want to fully stretch it out. Get that full squeeze, yeah. By the top, one, two, yeah. Yeah, come on. Yep, yep. This was the final push. Final push. And yeah, man, like, sorry for doing the voiceover again. So, one thing I realized is. I'm going to need, like, I'm waiting for that mic to come in so I can finally have a background noise blocker, I would say. Um, with the new road mic, you're able to put a setting on that blocks the background noise. Because last time I tried uploading a YouTube video, it got copyright strike because you can literally hear the song in the background. Even if I do, like, noise canceling um, through editing, it still pops it up, which is very annoying, bro. Because I'm like, it's not my fault the gym is blasting it, you know? All I'm trying to do is do my best, record, talk. But the music, even if it's like the smallest amount, you get a copyright strike for it. Which I don't truly think it's fair, but it is what it is. I got to follow the guidelines and I got to stick to what YouTube has to say. You know what I mean? Okay. It's some fucked up shit. Woo. After doing chest, my camera was about to die. So I did triceps without recording and just recorded my posing. So for triceps, all I did was basically seated overhead dumbbell extensions. I did regular cable tricep extensions, and then I did single arm extensions. Nothing too crazy. That's really it. But from that on, I just really wanted to focus on posing. Um, because one thing is, again, from my last show is I wanted to work on my chest. And right now, I'm seeing definitely different changes. But most importantly, I'm seeing the changes that I needed to make um, when it came to my physique and what I got. Um, so now it's just about fine-tuning these small things and then once i fine-tune these small things i'm able to make you know the biggest changes because all the little stuff that you do is going to lead to that big change and right now that's just my main focus small changes to make the big change but i hope you guys are enjoying the journey so far this is just a start um bulking we have another one or two months of bulking and then from there on we start cut 
for show day, baby. I'm excited. I'm excited for this one, for real, because my physique has improved. I took the necessary steps to actually, you know, make those improvements. And now it's just about seeing what happens when I step on stage. Still thrive. We still get better. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you have a blessed day. Peace. Thank you.